In this video, we'll explain the difference between tickets and jobs and how to split or group them as needed. When filing locate requests for multiple excavation areas, iTicNext may determine that multiple tickets are required in order to adhere to the rules established by North Dakota One Call. If this is the case, iTicNext will inform you with a prompt before moving on from the mapping stage. When you reach Stage 2 of the ticketing process, you will be presented with each ticket needed to cover your work area, as determined by iTicNext. There are two labels to pay attention to here, the job name and the ticket designation. In this example, all four tickets are part of a single job, so they are all labeled Job A. They are also labeled by ticket, in this case, one of four, two of four, and so on. If you are filing tickets for multiple jobs in a single session, you can choose to group different excavation entities into specific job designations. This can be very useful if you want to make sure certain work areas are grouped together and can aid in keeping tidy records. Creating multiple jobs in a single session is pretty simple. Let me show you. When you're mapping out your work area and you create a second excavation entity, you will be asked if you would like to use this job or split the ticket. To assign the entity to a new job, choose split ticket. Now the new job ticket is assigned to job B. Subsequent entities will be grouped with the new job designation unless you choose the split ticket option again. You can also add a new job to the session by clicking the add another job tab. As you can see, the tickets are clearly labeled with their respective job designations. That's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching.